Hello everybody, I'm the Notebook Collector, and welcome to the video on the One Piece card game. Today, we have a lot of cards to look through. Um, we got some, a promo right here, and we have a bunch of SRs to look through, through uh, from OP05, and a bunch of other cards, including some support for the previous set. First off here, we have this promo Luffy here, that is coming in Psycho Jump, I believe. Uh, is a blue card, cost of 7, power of 7,000, counter of 1,000. On play, return up to 1. Cost three or less character in the field to the owner's hand. Pretty good card. I like the seven cost, seven thousand power. Oh, it's good having a one counter, and it effect itself is pretty decent as well. Yes, uh, I think the main appeal for this card, obviously it being a promo card, is the art here. It is fully uh, um, holographic from the video that we showed in. I don't have it pulled up here because of Twitter uh, being dumb. And yes, this is the new card. This entire thing is holographic. All right, next up here, we have Enaru as an SR here. A yellow card, the cost of seven, power of 7,000, no counter, and its effect is rush, and once per turn, if, if this character were to be removed from the field, you may trash the top card of your life instead. If character Monkey D. Luffy is on the field, this effect may not be activated. This is a very cool card. I like the fact that it has Rush, it being a 7k card with Rush and 7 cost is really good it's in itself. And the effect it can uh, revive itself by removing a life uh, is ex also extremely good. But obviously the funny part of this is, is it can't do it if Monkey D. Luffy's on the field because of how, you know, when he do does like his lightning, Luffy is just completely negated by it. And I hope the alternate art for this SR is his like e extremely you know, funny shock face that everyone loves so much because we have not seen that alternate being used yet and that is what everyone's hoping for for this set yes we're very excited um i think this card is really good i'm gonna be playing it. i plan on making and playing anaru anaru is my, like, my favorite character in all of one piece so i'm gonna make sure i be i'm playing it and i've been continuously thinking about different deck lists for anaru as these cards come out next up we have another super rare uh a black card that costs of four power of zero and a counter of one thousand her, she has the effect of being a blocker and on play you can return one black car character other than Rebecca with a cost of three to seven from the trash to your hand then play one cost three or less black character from your hand to the field rested this is a pretty decent card uh, the effect that you can get something from your trash back to your hand and then also play one uh, just off of a cost four character is a very very powerful I'm very excited to see what people can do with this card, especially knowing how powerful the Rebecca character is, not character, the Rebecca leader is uh, from OP04. Very excited to see this. Next up, we have another SR coming out of OP05 is Borsalino here. A blue character, the cost of seven, power of 8,000, no counter. The effect says on play, place one character, the cost of four or lower to the bottom of the owner's deck pretty powerful not only is it a seven cost eight thousand power but just uh pretty sure this is the same exact effect that uh three thousand worlds has um just about verbatim i might be wrong on that so don't quote me really good card i think this is very powerful I, I am excited to see what the other like characters for uh blue under sakazuki's leader will have in opo5 which there are a few more here i'm gonna show off in a little bit here but i'm definitely excited to see what this deck does Last SR I'm going to be looking at here is Sabo. Um, six cost, 7,000 power, red character with no counter. The effect of on play, this is a very unique effect here, KO up to two of your opponent's characters with a combined power of 4,000 or less. Um, this can be like, you know, it, has, it says up to two. So it can be like one character with 4,000, um, one character with 3,000, or it can be like what, two characters with 2,000 power. Two characters, one that has 3,000, one that has um, one. You know, a character that has 4,000 power and a character that has zero power, like if your opponent has Machino in the field or something. Very interesting, interesting effect. I think this card will probably be used a lot, depending on how well the Revolution Army deck looks. Uh, I think Bella Betty is going to be an extremely good card. And I'm really excited to see how these cards work. Um, Yeah, I think this is going to be... This, as a part of the Revolution Army deck with Bella Betty's leader is going to be insane. Next up where we have Viola, a black character the cost of two, power of 3,000 and counter of 1,000. On play, your opponent chooses three cards in their trash 
and they return them to the bottom of their deck in any order. Um, this, I guess, will be powerful if, like, the meta ever revolves around, like, graveyard effects. My graveyard effects, uh, sorry, my Yu-Gi-Oh! brain activated there. Uh, just trash, um, usage. I think some cards from the last set do this, so there might be, this might be counter just to that. But I'm also not entirely sure what this is supposed to be, like, playable for. But off the time ahead, I don't think this would be a very usable card. Though very unique in its effect so far, as not very other cards do this. So I'm very uh, intrigued to see what this will do for the future of the card game. Next up, we have Mr. One here, which is an interesting print, uh, considering we have like three or four other Mr. One cards from the last few sets. Like, I swear they've made one in every set so far. But a purple card, the cost of one part of 1,000, uh, 1,000 counter, and, the, and this effect reads, On the opponent's attack, once per turn, Don minus one, play up to one Broke Works type character card with a cost of three or less from your hand. And no Broke Works, I'm pretty sure in the last set, uh, has a lot of very powerful on play and on your opponent's turns effects. So this could be very, very good for that deck. Next up, we have Hatori here, I believe. No, Hotori. Is that right? Sorry, my, my list. Oh, this is Kotori. Yeah, Hotori is the other one. We haven't, that hasn't been announced yet. This is Kotori. Um, a three cost. 3,000 power yellow card with a counter of 1,000. On play, if you have Hotori, KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost equal to or less than the number of li of number of your opponent's life cards. Uh, depending on what Hotori does, this could be a lot better for a payoff, but I don't have too high expectations for the other one. Next card here, we have Nico Robin, a red card with a cost of one power of 2,000. On play, KO up to one of your opponent's characters with with 1,000 power or less. Pretty decent card. Um, I'm pretty sure Evolution Army and the new like red cards are going to be playing off of like uh, what your what power your opponent's cards have and what power your cards have. So this is a very interesting thing. I, I'd like to see how other cards revolve around this and see how playable this becomes. Next up, we have Monet here, a green character with a cost of three power of 1,000 and it is a blocker and on block rest up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of four or less which is very very powerful next up we have john giant a purple card with a cost of eight power of ten thousand counter of one thousand and no effect and is just a vanilla card i think this might be pretty useful and i'm excited to see how it goes uh next up we have a chopper here with a um a purple card with a cost of two power of three thousand on play, if you have eight or more Don on your field, set up to one of your characters with 6,000 power or less and the Straw Hat crew type as active. This card is very good, um, especially with red and purple Luffy being such a like, prominent leader right now, like I said earlier in the Japanese side of the game, and with the new purple leader in the you know in set five being very good. Also, um, just like purple being a pretty good archetype in general. This is going to be very, very promising, I think, this card, at least, because it's being it's a low cost to get out, uh, pretty decent, like, threshold to meet with a Don and having a Straw Hat Crew char uh, character. This could be very, very good. Last character here is Nami here, which doesn't have as much of a promising effect. Purple character, the cost of one, power of 1,000, counter of 1,000. The effect reads, if you have 10 or more Don on your field, this character gains Blocker, which I don't think this is very good. Mainly because it is a very hard threshold to meet, as this will be only happening on what your, your fifth turn minimum, unless you are playing other cards to ramp more down on your field faster, which is a very big possibility, I, I can admit. Um, but with the purple boss character, if you know what I'm talking about, you do, because it's still technically spoilers left. I mean, I know they announced at the end of the last at One Piece episode, but I'm not going to say its name just yet, not until the six. Um, this character. Will not have you'll not have 10 down in the field for very long unless you are purposely trying to get a lot of cards out that spam down to your side of the field um which is still going to take a while to meet anyway and i don't think this is just going to be very useful just as a normal blocker 1000 power maybe this you know had a higher cost and higher power maybe that'd be a bit better but i don't see very high promise for this character that is i for today and thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe and check out the videos I have. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.